Aromatase inhibitors are drugs that block the production of estrogen by inhibiting the actions of the enzyme aromatase. Aromatase normally works to convert testosterone into estrogen in a process known as aromatization. This process is blocked by aromatase inhibitors like anastrozole. In this video, I'll share my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information about aromatase inhibitors so you'll be ready for test day. It's another starry night out here on the International Space Station. Look at how cool the cosmos looks. And look who we ran into. It's an astronaut. This astronaut should remind us of the drug name anastrozole. Get it? Astronaut kind of sounds like anastrozole. This astronaut is our anchor for this scene about anastrozole. Note that a related drug of the same class is called letrozole, but letrozole is pretty low yield for test day. Test writers and most doctors tend to use the archetypical or most common drug of each class. So just remember anastrozole and you'll be set for test day. Now that we've met our astronaut, shall we discuss how anastrozole works? It looks like our astronaut was practicing her astronomy skills with the ISS telescope when she had to use the restroom. See how our astronaut is plugging her nose? The fumes from the bathroom behind her must have been so bad that she had to plug her nose as she stumbled away. She's blocking her nose since the fumes have a really bad aroma. Get it? I'm sure you guessed by now, but the aroma here makes me think of aromatase. Therefore, blocking this aroma should help you remember aromatase inhibitors. Anastrozole works as an inhibitor of the enzyme aromatase. That shouldn't be too hard to remember, right? So what does blocking aromatase actually do? Well, let's get back to the woman's bathroom. As you can see, this restroom is closed, perhaps because of the smell. There's even one of those bars blocking the entrance for cleaning that you see wherever restrooms are closed. This blocked women's bathroom symbolizes blocked estrogen production. Get it? Since the women's room makes me think of estrogen, the major hormone responsible for female sex development and function. And this women's room is blocked, which should drive home that we're decreasing or blocking estrogen production. Aromatase inhibitors like anastrozole block the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, decreasing estrogen levels in the body. Makes sense, right? So, one more time. Aromatase inhibitors decrease estrogen production, which is represented by our blocked women's bathroom here. Did you happen to notice how cool our astronaut looks? Not only does she have an awesome NASA spacesuit, but she's also pretty fashionable with her pink hair tie. Hmm, wait a second. Doesn't that pink ribbon look like the breast cancer ribbon? Yep, you're absolutely right. Let this pink ribbon remind us specifically of ER-positive breast cancer. ER-positive breast cancer is just shorthand for estrogen receptor-positive breast cancer, which is a type of cancer that depends on estrogen stimulation to grow. As you might expect, taking away the estrogen that a cancer needs to grow can slow cancer growth, thereby treating breast cancer. As our astronaut stumbles from sniffing the restroom's bad aroma, we see this pink ribbon falling out, symbolizing the effect aromatase inhibitors have on breast cancer, shrinking or stopping their growth. All right, guys, we're almost done with this scene. Let's talk about our last symbol. As our astronaut stumbles forward, she bumps into the tripod that her telescope is on, breaking the tripod into pieces. Now, I don't know about you, but the long supports of this tripod kind of remind me of bones, since bones are long and provide structural support. Therefore, this fractured tripod should remind you of bone fractures. More specifically, this fractured tripod should remind you of osteoporosis, one of the side effects of taking anastrozole. Recall from physiology that estrogen increases bone density in women and keeps bones strong and healthy. Without estrogen, bone density decreases and bone becomes brittle and prone to breaks in a condition known as osteoporosis. Aromatase inhibitors like anastrozole directly block estrogen production, thereby increasing the risk of osteoporosis. All right, that's it for anastrozole. Let's recap and get out of here. Anastrozole and letrozole are drugs that work by inhibiting aromatase. These aromatase inhibitors therefore prevent the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, reducing estrogen levels in the body. Because these drugs block the production of estrogen, their main indication is for estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. However, since estrogen happens to be a protective hormone for bone density, these drugs can cause osteoporosis as a side effect. Phew. 
Now we're done with Anastrozol. And with that, another space adventure completed. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.